My thought process on this sign project was to turn it into kind of a display uh, for the latte and the saucer to sit on. So I started with a Dollar Tree sign there. It's just one of those little decor signs. And I cut off the measurement that I needed. You'll see why later. Sanded it, brushed off the dust, and now I'm using a little bit of watered down chalk paint in uh, Waverly Cottage White and kind of dry brushing that on there. I didn't want it solid, solid white. I just wanted it to look more dry brushed. Again, for my faux latte, I wanted a recipe, and I found this SVG on um, Etsy. I will link it below in the description box. It's too wide, so I had to do some rearranging in my Cricut to fit my sign. You'll see. I've already cut and weeded <laughs> my little recipe there. But apparently I did not measure my board exactly right. And so now I'm having to kind of cut little sections apart so that I can force fit it on the size of my board. It was only off by maybe a quarter, three eighths of an inch, but it was enough that it wasn't gonna look right. So, you know, you do what you gotta do. So I'm cutting off the little pieces and then fitting them, spacing them, where they will work. And now it's just all about using some acrylic paint uh, to paint the little sections. Some of it was a little harder to do because I didn't have the mask the, of the vinyl there because they kind of touch each other so I had to just be a little bit careful when I was painting. Also, on the whipped cream stuff and the milk jug, it, you know, I used an antique white, but on top of white, it really doesn't show up. So I had to kind of add a little bit of a blurry outline and kind of fade that in. But I'll just let you watch how I finish this part up. And then we do something a little special, special on the middle of the spoon for the spices.
this was an old piece of barn wood. It was just one long piece. So what I did was I measured the glass plate and I measured the thickness of this. And I asked my husband, Randy, to cut it this much longer, this piece, so that he could screw into the bottom. And so the back side would still look okay. Then on this end, I traced out a little thing and he routered it and drilled a hole. So it kind of looks like the handle of a cutting board. So my thought on this was I would put the saucer down and then I would put my latte on top of that and I'll probably glue them down so that it's a permanent fixture. And then on the back is where my cute little sign goes. Just like that. So to attach this, I am going to use tight bond quick and thick and my handy little snaps. I think that'll work. Let's see. Oops. Okay, that's not gonna work. I will have to go get some clamps um, from my husband to hold this down.